later said about you. Noelle White from the Center of Academic Success nominated Adrian Ma for his work as a sign-in assistant for their office. Adrian, who has been with CAS since the summer of 2019, is a dependable student worker who supports two pillars, tutoring and academic advising services. His willingness to give most of his time and energy to assist clients at the front desk show his professionalism and dedication to HPU. Aloha, my name is Lauren Nelsworthy and I am the Hawaii Loa Area Coordinator for the Housing and Residence Life Department and I'm here to nominate Alexa Long who is a Hawaii Loa Community Advisor. A community advisor is a live-on part-time student staff member who is designated to a certain hall or building and is known as the role model and the go-to person for the residents. I'm nominating Alexa because Alexa does a wonderful job balancing her school life, her personal life, and the CA life, and I really appreciate how well she prioritizes and time manages her time. Her positive attitude and her strong determination to get the job done and get through it is really admirable, and I really appreciate you, Alexa. You deserve this. Thank you. Aloha, Allegra. I think this is both a thank you note and a fond aloha. I will certainly miss you, and I, I want to congratulate you on this remarkable accomplishment resulting in your recognition for this Light Up the Night celebration. You are definitely destined for greatness, and you will remain in my heart forever. Please do stay in touch and let me know about all your successes. Aloha. My name is Sophia. I'm from the Financial Aid Office. I nominated Angela Mendoza as our candidate for the Light of the Night event. Um, we wanted to recognize her for her hard work, for putting in so much effort to make everything run smoothly in our Financial Aid Office. So we wanted to congratulate you, Angela, and thank you for everything you've done. We wish you all the best. Recognizing the invaluable experiences of the SAFAC Chair student position, Brandon accepted the appointment to take the lead of this prominent committee. His responsibilities include leading committee meetings, managing administrative tasks and committee communications, as well as upholding the SAFAC mission. Brandon, I think you've done an outstanding job this year, and I can't thank you enough for everything you've done to keep the committee going. Congratulations on a job well done. Hi, my name is Nicole Wexelberger, and I nominate Brielle Hudick for her work within Student Government Association. Bri, you always put the needs of students before your own. I'm so proud of you for stepping up into the student body vice president role and continuing to connect with our students and ask those tough questions. No one lives out our institutional values like you do. Hi, my name is Stephen Gransky. I am the campaign project manager for university relations. I'm nominating Casey Park for Light Up the Night. Casey came to our team and quickly showed her ability and willingness to take on responsibilities. She has coupled that with the talent to creatively apply what she is learning in the classroom to real world situations. She has taken leadership of the social media accounts in our office and offers valuable insight and contributions into her vital projects. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Nick Giacona and I'm Director of Advancement Services in the University Relations Office. We have been very fortunate to have had Cherry Soria work in our office over the last two years. Cherry is a very bright, hardworking, conscientious, if somewhat quiet young woman, and it has been an absolute joy to work with her. We know that Cherry will be successful in any endeavor that she embarks upon in the future. And we just feel so lucky that she spent part of her time here at HPU with us. Mahalo, Cherry. Aloha, my name is Lauren Nasworthy, and I'm the Hawaii Loa Area Coordinator for the Housing and Residence Life Department. I'm here to nominate Chloe Todd, who is a Waterfront Lofts Community Advisor. A community advisor is a part-time student staff live-on member who is designated to a certain hall or building and is known as the role model or the go-to person for the residents. 
I'm nominating Chloe Todd because throughout this past year I've worked with Chloe when she's handled super tough situations and she's remained calm, kept her composure, and showed nothing but compassion. And I know that can be hard to do sometimes in this job. So I really appreciate you, Chloe, and I'm so proud of you and I'm really grateful to have someone like you on our staff. Nohea Benny Carlo is nominating Christopher Bartolomi for his work as RSO's president for Circle K. He is passionate and dedicated to the organization. He is attentive to the board members and what they need, the ideas, discussions, etc. He continues to guide his board members and supports them on their chosen community service projects and works with them to continue to improve the organization. Aloha, my name is Pete Britos and I nominated Sierra Wall for Light Up the Night. Sierra is a writer, producer, and director in the cinematic and multimedia program. And for the past few years, Sierra has excelled at generating projects through her writing and including her peers in an effective and efficient way. And she just has a fantastic attitude. Football team. I've nominated David Rollins for the Light Up the Night Award. I've spent the last four years with D. Rowe. Although he's not the tallest player on the basketball team, he's always established himself as a leader. He's consistently had the highest GPA of all men's basketball players and one of the highest of all student athletes. I've watched Jiro work with young kids all across the island at different elementary schools, reading to them, talking about his professional goals and working with them on their basketball skills. Jiro's even gone to China and taught young kids basketball and English. He's an exceptional video maker and uses his video making skills to promote others and the good things they're doing. With all the time I've spent with Dero, I can give my highest recommendation and think there's no one more deserving to light up the night than Dero. Hi, my name is Carlin Jeremias and I am the Associate Director of Annual Giving and Alumni Relations. We proudly nominate Elena Boyce. Um, she has been such a delight to work with, a uh, positive, bubbly, diplomatic, and a hard worker. She's tremendously helped with our Senior Legacy gift campaign and launching of our President's Ambassadors program. Uh, she is such a great student worker and a student ambassador. Uh, thank you for all you do for our team, Elena, and mahalo. Hi, my name is Nicole Wexenberger, and I nominated Elena Emmert for her work at Student Government Association. Elena, instead of backing down when things got tough, you pushed and empowered your fellow senators to rise with you. You truly pushed the limits of what a senator can do and have set a new standard. With grad school applications, senior capstone classes, and your on-campus job, you always found time to make HPU better than you found it. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Aloha, my name is Pete Britos, and I nominated Fina Benoan for Light Up the Night. Fina is the president of the Cinematic Multimedia Club. She's been a real leader in our programs the entire time that she has been with us. She has a great attitude. She's a fantastic asset to the program. Uh, really knows how to collaborate with their peers and encourage everybody to do the best work that they possibly can and she just has a fantastic attitude. Aloha, I'd like to nominate Geraldine Dengen for her role as the president of Tinso. She goes above and beyond and always keep all of us informed to develop meaningful events for our organization. Hi, my name is Joanna and I'm the University Relations Coordinator. We're happy to have nominated Gretchen Potamata. Don't let her quiet demeanor fool you. Gretchen shines when it comes to event planning and programming. She is always thinking steps ahead and we appreciate her detail-oriented manner. She's able to anticipate the needs of our students and event guests. She also laid out great foundation work on the senior legacy events and has created helpful event profiles and SOPs. She has shown so much growth throughout the year and collaborates amazingly with everyone. The UR team is so happy to have Gretchen on the team. Thank you, Gretchen. I nominated Janelle Mateo from the Student Life Office. Thank you, Janelle, for all that you've done. Without you, we would not be able to get any of our successful events completed or even maintain our social media. Again, thank you so much. We are so lucky to have you. Aloha. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Bay, and this nomination for Light of the Night is for Keisha Marie Chong. 
I am the advisor for the International Club and Keisha was the president and she did a really amazing job. She came up with lots of creative and fun activities. She implemented movie nights and had a really great way of keeping students going even when there were slower times or people needed a little bit of help being motivated. I was incredibly impressed working with her. She's organized and kind and thoughtful and she did a great job, so thanks. Mary Smith from the Computer Science Department nominated Kevin Chevalier for his work as a teaching assistant. Kevin is a wonderful teacher, mentor to the students. He is very patient, kind, and responsive to all questions. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Bay and I nominated Christina Laverna for Light Up the Night because Christina is an amazing student. I was fortunate enough to work with her in the study abroad office for the last two years and it was such an amazing experience. Christina is strong and hardworking and incredibly dedicated and smart and I know she's going to do great in anything that she does in life and I was really fortunate to be able to work with her and I think that all of her hard work should be recognized. So thank you Christina. I am nominating Christina Wick on behalf of the International Missions Department for Light Up the Night. Christina has been with us for about a year. She's been incredibly helpful as she provides an insight from an international student's perspective um, in a department in charge of international student recruitment. So she's been helpful in participating in student panels with us for webinars geared to potential international students. Her willingness to train new assistants with her cheery disposition is really appreciated. Thank you, Christina. As an interim cab officer last summer, Kyle Madriaga created, planned, and executed one of CAB's most well-attended events, H2O Glow at Wet n Wild. From negotiating contracts to managing the budget to working with other cab officers, Kyle's hard work on this event garnered more than 500 students and a ton of positive feedback. Kyle, Chez and I would like to congratulate you on a job well done. Thank you for all of the time and dedication you gave to CAB last summer. I've uh, nominated La uh, Diedrich as uh, an award winner for the Light Up the Night event. Uh, my name is Ken Schooland. I'm the advisor to the Enactus uh, Club on campus, otherwise known as the Hawaii Pacific Entrepreneur Club. Um, it wouldn't have uh, happened without her. La uh, carried on. Uh, she's one of the most brilliant students that I've known over the years, and uh, uh, she's done a marvelous job at organizing and motivating uh, the students to do a very, very productive years this year. So I proudly nominate her for this award. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Teresa McCreary, and I have nominated Leilani Delude Woohoo! for the Light Up the Night program. She's the co-manager and librarian for the HPU Symphony Orchestra. And here's what I wrote about Leilani. She's one of those student leaders who takes on responsibilities that most students are afraid of. She's one of the most courageous students I've ever had and she leads with extraordinary enthusiasm. She literally lights up the night. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Teresa McCreary and I've nominated Lumi Hayakawa. For the Light Up the Night program. Lumi is the co manager, concert master, and music librarian for the HPU Symphony Orchestra. And here's what I wrote about Lumi She's super organized and uber responsible in her leadership roles. She's a brilliant violinist and outstanding musical leader. Stephen Lum from the Mail Processing and Distribution Center nominated Mark J for his work as a student assistant. Mark is a tremendous asset to our department. Mark demonstrates all the qualities a supervisor is looking for. He has great initiative, is intelligent, exceptionally responsible, and has tons of energy and is not afraid of hard work. In addition, he is a well-rounded individual and many diverse interests and talents. He is truly appreciated. Noelle White from the Center of Academic Success nominated Marin S. for her work as a sign-in assistant for her, their office. Martin has worked at CAS since the fall of 2019. As a student worker, she's extremely reliable with excellent attendance and continues to dedicate her time to support our services. Her welcoming smile at the front desk has a positive effect when it relieves clients' stress and alleviates their mood. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Torres. I'm the head of public services for HBU Libraries. I'm nominating Melissa Dura as a student leader for this year's Light Up the Next. 
and Lisa is a responsible, productive, and highly valuable member of our access services team. She has a wealth of knowledge and a diligent work ethic, which she puts into play when helping students at the library. She has also made positive contributions at the library by creating sanitation stations at the Learning Commons and share COVID-19 safety tips with other student workers. Her positiveness, kindness has inspired other student workers, and she's well respected by her peers, staff, and any that visits the library. Let me tell you why I nominated Melody for HBU's Light of the Night. One, she had a sense of social daring. She participated in the Model UN, both in New York and Washington, D.C. She had a medical internship in Spain. Second, she has a sense of compassion and caring. Third, she has a sense of social commitment, as you can see, as a student government association senator. And fourth, she's very bright. Of the 37 years I've Teaching, she's in the top 2%, as you can see, I'm a bit old. I'm Sule Wang, I'm a chemistry professor. I nominated Michaela Gray as the outstanding student leader. Michaela helped establish the first student chapter of American Chemical Society at HPU, and she served the first president of the organization. American Chemical Society is the world's largest scientific uh, society. Michaela successfully organized several student activities and helped apply for external grants to support these activities. Chelsea Patton from Athletics nominated Robin Calton Bruin for her work as SAC president. Robin always steps up to the plate and is always the first to help and volunteer. She has the most amazing positive attitude no matter how much responsibility is on her plate. Robin, Chelsea appreciates you so much. Aloha, my name is Pete Britos and I nominated Samantha Baker for Light Up the Night. Samantha is a writer, producer, director in the cinematic and multimedia production program. Uh, Samantha is an excellent team leader, a peer mentor, and she just has a fantastic attitude. Hi everybody, I nominated Samantha Kossi for club president for the year because she uh, just did an amazing job the last year, actually the last couple years in scheduling uh, meetings, uh, getting pe people together for events, um, helping to facilitate organization of our symposium series as well as site conference event. And uh, she always makes a point at each meeting to um, have some discussion on some topical e issue in the area of psychological research. So for those reasons and more, I think uh, Sam Causey would be a great winner for the uh, club president of the year. Thank you. I am nominating Sarah DeJonge on behalf of the International Missions Department for Light Up the Night. Sarah has been with us for about two years with our department. She's been incredibly helpful in that she is the most senior of our assistants, has taken the initiative in training our student assistants, going the extra mile and helping us prepare for our admissions events. She's been helpful, truly helpful, and truly invaluable to our team, especially with our GPA calculations. Thank you, Sarah. Aloha, my name is Pete Britos, and I nominated Stephen Bowler for Light Up the Night. Steven is the Vice President of the Cinematic Multimedia Club, amongst other things, and a very valued member of this graduating class. Uh, Steven has been available to all of his peers throughout the years that he's been here uh, in pretty much any capacity on any production. Uh, quite a few productions have gotten done simply because uh, Steven had no qualms about working on other people's projects and helping them out in any way that he could. Stephen Lum from the Mail Processing and Distribution Center nominated Fern N for her work as a student assistant. She is a joy to work with. She is very involved with many school organizations and has a challenging major, but yet still comes to work with a smile on her face. Her resume says it all. Fern is responsible, encouraging to others, and is able to work fast under pressure and has a positive attitude. Lauren Conching from Athletics nominated Texas Powers for his work as Sharky. Texas is always ready to be Sharky at the games and take pictures of the athletes. The Sharky costume is hot and it's not easy being a mascot. He always makes sure fans and students are having fun. Noelle White from the Center of Academic Success nominated Young Zhu Wu for his work as a sign-in assistant for their office. Elias has been with CAPS since the fall of 2018. Though his personality is discreet, his genuine interest of assisting student clients at the advising and tutoring is exceptional. His consistent, curious, and positive conduct during challenging moments at the front desk is an excellent reflection of how to be professional in the workplace.
please click on your reaction icons and show your support for these department and program nominees. The next group of students are members of the Registered Student Organization, otherwise known as RSOs or clubs. These students are our RSO MVPs or our most valuable person of the year. RSOs have gotten together to nominate these individuals for their outstanding contributions to their student organization and the HP community. Keep those reaction emojis coming. Kristana Kabasak from the Nur Student Nurses Association. Without a doubt, both nursing students and active club members recognize Kristana as a true leader. They are able to come to her without fear of being judged or turned away. Kristana has worked endlessly to support the SNA mission beginning in 2018 and has now worked her way into being a supportive vice president and a pinning committee liaison. Kristana pushes past her limits by continuously advocating for the nursing student body by coordinating with faculty and SNA executive board members. Jen Ayab from the Psychology Club. Jen stepped into the role of the vice president in January. Since then, she has improved the organization of the club, helped keep everyone on track, and assisted in the production of many club events. Without Jen, the club would have never had as many lovely flyers and advertisements as they do, have as much time to advertise their events, and would be completely disorganized. Jen alone designed the club's t-shirt as well as the stickers for their fundraiser. She spent all of her own time and resources to do these things and to ensure the club would thrive. Last but certainly not least, Maya Fry from her campus. Maya is the event director in her campus at HPU. For, as an event director and a full-time student, she works a full-time job and is still finds time to attend every meeting and club event. She plays the biggest role in putting on our events together. Please give a round of applause for our RSO MVPs. Now we would like to honor a student who has completed the HPU Leadership Education and Development Series, or LEADS for short. HPU LEADS is a self-directed leadership development program and designed around an experiential learning environment. It was created to help students learn more about themselves as emerging leaders, discover their leadership potential, and prepare their professional portfolio. LEADS participants are required to work with the Career Development Center and complete the MBTI or Strong Interest Inventory Assessment, create or update their cover letter and resume, and go through a mock interview process. They are also required to attend a number of leadership and professional development seminars or workshops. Attendance at a networking event was also a must. Lastly, they immerse themselves in an actual leadership development environment as an officer of a student organization, as an empl employee on or off campus, or through service with an outside organization. After completion of these requirements, they conclude the program with several self-reflection assignments and highlight what they learned about themselves and leadership through this experience. Jessica Walt is a senior who will graduate this spring with her master's degree in organization development and change. She is a graduate assistant in the Office of Graduate Admission, where her responsibilities include office administration, social media campaign and project management, as well as marketing and promotion of events. In reviewing Jessica's submitted work, she was very thoughtful in her written reflections. She attended and participated in many leadership and professional development events and walked away more equipped to foster her leadership potential. Through the LEADS journey, she realized although academics is important in learning and building a foundation, gaining experience is just as important in developing one's leadership skills and qualities. Congratulations, Jessica. Job well done. Before we begin with the RSO Competitive Awards, I'd like to share a few reminders. If you are a member or a leader of an RSO, remember registration applications are due by June 1st at 5 p.m. Reference the email and the club page on the HPU website for the re-registration form. CAB Stress Fest events are scheduled to start next week. Follow CAB on Instagram at, at CAB underscore HPU for more information. 
Also, there are a variety of virtual events happening through the rest of the semester. Be sure to check your email and HPU events calendar for ways to stay involved. Our registered student organizations are comprised of students, staff, and faculty members who step up to create and maintain a sense of Ohana, who help students connect and stay connected to each other and to, the HP, and to HPU. Our RSOs are responsible for coordinating more than 500 activities this year. I know, I counted the ARFs, including social events, community service activities, leadership seminars, workshops, and fundraisers. It's not easy to lead a club, and we commend you, our club leaders, for taking on that responsibility and enriching uh, campus life at HPU. First, the Office of Student Activities would like to recognize more of the amazing accomplishments of the RSOs. We have nine superlatives to further acknowledge all the great things that RSOs have accomplished. Let's take a look back over the past year at all the great events and see what the Office of Student Activities thinks about you.
a few weeks ago, active registered student organizations were invited to submit nominations in several categories. Best Rookie, Best Outreach, RSO Event of the Year, Advisor of the Year, RSO President of the Year, and the RSO of the Year. Our, we also have two brand new awards, the Aloha and Pono Award this year. Recipients were chosen based on the nominations received and whether the RSO met activity requirements during the academic year. The Best Rookie RSO Award recognizes a new or renewed organization that has built a solid foundation and has contributed to the HP community during the current academic year. This year, this club blossomed into a real powerhouse of an RSO. They can always be seen on campus participating in student activities, other RSO events, or hosting their own events. They bring a sense of community to its members and encourage empowerment and appreciation of all. We are looking forward to seeing what traditions this club establishes on campus. Rookie RSO of the Year goes to Black Student Union, Holly Tyra President. RSOs make a difference in the HPU community and on the island of Oahu. Best Outreach RSO recognizes the club that has been dedicated to improving and supporting the communities and service organizations in the greater Oahu community. The club consistently held events that featured giving back to the community while educating students about good health practices. The club is out and about almost every weekend through a variety of initiatives, such as the Hapalua Run, the Great Aloha Run, learning hands-on CPR with Hawaii Pacific Health, assisting disabled to surf with Access Surf, and assisting in car safety at HPH Car Expo. Best Outreach RSO goes to Student Nurses Association, Dana Fuerte President. Registered student organizations work all year to create a vision, to fulfill their mission, and to have a great time. RSOs have organized more than 500 successful events at HPU this year, ranging from club meetings, national conferences, professional development workshops, and guest speakers. Best RSO event recognizes the activity or program coordinated by an RSO that was successful and beneficial for all HPU students and or the community. Even though it's in their first year, we hope this event involves into a beloved tradition on campus. This club collaborated with campus partners to bring our Ohana together. While the event was simple and passive in nature, it highlighted how much we love and celebrate diversity at HPU by asking students to write what diversity means to them on a post-it note and stick it to the wall. The result was a beautiful mosaic of colored post-it notes filled with love and admiration for the HPU students. This event has every reason to be bigger and better every year for the foreseeable future. We can't wait to see this event again. The RSO event of the year is BSU's Diversity Wall. Congratulations. RSO advisors are often the behind the scenes contributors, supporters, sounding boards for our RSOs. Advising a club is a voluntary position open only to full-time faculty and staff, and this award recognizes the advisor, in spite of their crazy and busy work schedule, who has served as a valuable resource for their club and offered support and guidance throughout the year, while allowing the students to take the reins. Before I announce the winners of this award, I would like to acknowledge all the advisors who gave themselves and passionately take on this responsibility. Thank you so, so much for supporting our students and all that you do with the RSOs. I couldn't do it without you guys. Spirit hands. Thank you guys so much. When students approach a participant about restarting a club, this advisor worked tirelessly to get a club up and running and played a major role in helping the student ensure that they had all the necessary paperwork submitted along with meeting the RSO requirements best passion of their field reaches beyond the wall of their classroom and goes out of the RSO world. They truly care about their success, not only in the RSO, but all the RSOs, by working with staff members in student activities to better RSO marketing. The RSO Advisor of the Year is Anne-Marie Manzuli, Her Campus. Congratulations. 
The RSO President of the Year Award goes to the RSO President who has dedicated themselves to their fellow students, the RSO, and the HPU community. We know leading an RSO isn't easy. We would like to recognize all the RSO presidents for their hard work and dedication to their club this past year. You guys are awesome. Being an RSO president means countless meetings with the advisors and exec board members, endless emails with the Office of Student Activities and true initiative to help get the events off the ground. Arguably, it's harder to be the RSO president of a new club as you're still trying to gain members and understand the crazy jargon we use in the RSO world. Example is the ARS. The, this president made it look so easy, especially considering her club is new this year. She is successfully organized several student chapter activities, including partnerships with different campus and community partners. She even helped apply for external grants to support their activities. This year's RSO's President of the Year goes to Michaela Gray, American Chemical Society. Congratulations. Next is our inaugural award, the Aloha Award. The Aloha Award recognizes a club member who consistently embodies the spirit of Aloha. They demonstrate kindness, grace, humility, and compassion. Never a dull moment with this re recipient. Her genuine personality draws people to her. She is always willing to take the reins of group projects, stands up for injustices, and is never afraid to jump in to help, even if it's not her club. When she had a great idea for a club event that didn't quite fit the mission of her own, she took her idea to the club that would benefit the most. We hope to see a Halo Halo event from the Filipino club real soon. The first Aloha word goes to Gretchen Paranama from HPEC. Congratulations. Our second new award this year is the Pono Award. The Pono Award recognizes the RSO that exemplifies righteousness, honor, and conscientiousness. They advance the values and the mission of the university and seek to improve the club, peers, and university community. This award comes with a cash prize. Casino Night is a new student activities event that was held this past October. In our office, we're pretty open about the planning process with the students that come in. This club found out that we were planning to hand out plastic cups during this event and took it upon themselves to arrange and donate plastic alternative cups for us to use instead. The first recipient of the Pono Award goes to Leaders for Sustainable Future. Congratulations. And finally, the RSO of the Year Award is given to the RSO that has exhibited HPU spirit, commitment to their vision and goals, and most importantly, has made significant contributions to the university and greater Oahu community. Like the Pono Award, this award also comes with a cash prize. Over the last year, this club was one of the most active student groups. With regular meetings throughout the year, their events consistently highlighted theories with practical application in a relaxed setting. This club was always the first to arrive and set up for RSO events and the last to leave. This club routinely checks in with our, our office to ask questions about the RSO, feedback on past events, or just about life in general. They have strived to host events that were always better than their last, and it shows. It is my honor to announce the RSO of the year is Psychology Club. Congratulations. Each year, we see so many students step forward to take a leadership role amongst their peers. Our students amaze us every day with all that they set out to do and ultimately accomplish. The Student Life staff created the Kukui Lamaku Award to recognize one outstanding student leader each year. In Hawaiian, Kukui Lamaku means the torch that guides. The student chosen for this honor embraces new experiences by participating in co-curricular and extracurricular activities, proactively works with staff and faculty to improve the student experience, 
reaches out to his or her peers and fosters a sense of community, shows school pride and loyalty, and displays excellent communication skills. This year, we had so many amazing candidates, it was very challenging to pick just one. We began with more than 60 candidates, and that field was narrowed down to three. These three students embody the dedication and can-do attitude we strive for at HPU. The first student we would like to recognize has been an engaged and involved shark from the moment he started at HPU, taking advantage of the many opportunities the university had to offer. As a recipient of the prestigious HPU for Hawaii Scholarship, he started his HPU career as a sign-in assistant in the Center of a for Academic Success and a contributing member of the new student transition team committee. His involvement continued as a peer mentor for two years, executive officer positions in SGA and HPEC, and two study abroad semesters in South Korea. Recognized earlier as the chair of SAFAC, he is a promising leader with a bright future ahead of him. His strengths include strong communication and organization skills, a positive attitude, and works well with others. A senior majoring in marketing and minoring in finance, we recognize Brandon Lorezco as this year's first Kukui Lamaku finalist. Congratulations, Brandon. When we first meet this when you first meet this next recipient, her warm smile and bubbly personality are the first things you will notice. Her positivity shines through all of her interactions, regardless of how sh stressed she may feel or what is on her to-do list. She always has time to check in on her peers and truly listens and genuinely cares for every individual she encounters. She is always willing to help, even if the task is outside of her job description or expectations as a student leader. She can be relied on to lead a group, facilitate leadership trainings, delegate tasks, or simply help with an event when we need extra hands. She's the type of student that understands and sees value in university initiatives, such as retention and student wellness and routinely volunteers to be involved. Her hard work and dedication to the student experience is extremely evident through her work in student government and as a senior peer mentor. A senior majoring in political science, diplomacy, and military studies, we recognize your student body president, Elena Boys, as this year's second Kukui Lamaku finalist. Congratulations, Elena. Although this next student comes across as quiet, don't be fooled. Over the last few years, we have watched this student grow from someone who was quiet and unassuming to a confident, goal and action-oriented, lead by example type of leader. They have a deep connection with the school and have dedicated their HPU career to helping improve the student experience. Always one to keep supervisors and advisors on their toes, this student's strong organizational skills and discerning eye for event planning and logistics has proven to be invaluable to the offices that they work for. As with many of the students we've acknowledged tonight, this student manages their time like an expert juggler. During their time at HPU, this student was the recipient of the prestigious HPU for Hawaii Scholarship has been actively involved in the Hawaii Pacific Entrepreneurship Club, the Peer Mentor Program, Campus Activities Board, two on-campus jobs, and an internship with the Department of Business, Economic Development, and Tourism. We are so happy she decided to stay at HPU and pursue her master's degree next year. A senior majoring in International Business and Economics, this year's recipient of the Kukui Lamaku Award is Gretchen Patamata. Congratulations, Gretchen. And before we go, I would like to thank the staff from some of our student life departments. That includes Chez, Catherine, Kayla, Lauren, and Brian our judges, and our awesome student assistants for their help in putting this event together. A special thank you to Keila and Zach who are behind the scenes and our, our resident Zoom experts and is really making this display look as wonderful as it does. 
But I'd like to say a very extra special thank you to Nicole Wexelberger for leading and coordinating this entire virtual event. In just a matter of a few weeks, she converted an in-person reception to a virtual live stream event. Staying up late, creating iMovies and slideshows, and waking up early to take care of the multitude of administrative details when you see Nicole next, be sure to thank her for everything that she's done for you folks to celebrate your accompl accomplishments tonight. Lastly, we'd like to again congratulate all students who have been recognized tonight. Keep up the good work. Thank you for joining us and please be safe and we hope to see all of you real soon. Congratulations. <laughs>